I wouldn't like to take the name of that girl. But she says, I'm a girl, but I think of myself as a boy. It's a Muslim girl. I'm a girl, but I think of myself as a boy. Now I have to suffer with this. What should I do? Can I do hormone replacement therapy? Please answer. There's a Muslim girl who asked the question that she thinks like a boy. And she's asking that can she do hormone replacement theory, indirectly asking that can she change her sex from a girl to a boy. As far as Islam is concerned, there is no permission for a human being to change the sex. Sex changing is haram in Islam. If you're born as a woman, you remain like a woman throughout your life. If you're born as a male, you remain as a male. These things happen because you do unnatural things, you do haram things and these things happen. Like for example, if you're a girl and you have been told by your parents or by your relatives, oh, you're a boy, you're a tomboy and they make you wear clothes which are not of the female, of the male, you start wearing jeans, you start wearing or short tops and you have a boy cut. All these things that have an impact on your behavior and you start thinking like a boy and you start behaving like a boy and then you want to become like a boy. So all these things are happening because you are breaking the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's common many a time that you know people start teasing you, oh, you're a tomboy, they tell girls you're a tomboy and, and, and then she's proud of it and she starts behaving like a boy. So this is not permitted in Islam. There's no question of you doing, taking hormones to change your sex. Changing sex in Islam is prohibited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited that. You have to maintain what Allah has. You cannot change what Allah has given you. And I know there are medical ways of doing it, etc. But all these are not permitted in Islam. And you, as a Muslim girl, should see to it that you read the Quran, you read the Hadith, you do more ibadah and inshallah and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let this evil thought go away from your mind. See to it, you read the translation of the Quran, you read the hadith and you see things that are more Islamic rather than things which are not Islamic. See to it that you have friends which are more Islamic that will take you closer to Quran and Sunnah rather than friends that take you away from Quran and Sunnah. Hope that answers the question.